<sighs> What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh, this is Beard Product Review, and today I'm gonna be talking about the importance of why you should be shaking your beard oil. All right, so I'm gonna try and make this as painless as possible, but basically, the reason you should be shaking your beard oil is because of specific gravity. Now, specific gravity is the density ratio to water, okay? What I mean by that is, water has a 1.0 specific gravity. Now, you take the density of any other liquid or object, and you do the ratio of that to water, and it tells you what the specific gravity of that substance or object is. I looked up some examples and one of the best ones I found was when you throw a penny or a quarter into a pond, right, like a wishing well. And when you do that, you throw it in and what does it do? It sinks to the bottom. It's because the specific gravity is higher than one. So water has a specific gravity of 1.0 because it's used as the standard. So if you have a penny and you throw it in, that means the specific gravity has to be above one because it sinks. So now that I've said that, let's talk about it in the form of a beard oil or oils in general because that's what we use in our beards. So the specific gravity of castor oil is 0.959, meaning less than one. So what would that mean? If I took castor oil and I put water in it, the value is less than one, so what should happen? This is what should happen. The water, 1.0, is denser than the castor oil, which is floating on top because the castor oil has a value of less than 1.0. So that totally makes sense. But you can see how this is gonna start to matter whenever you take the specific gravity of different types of oils and you start combining them, you'll get separation that happens and this is why it's important to shake your beard oils. Olive oil has a specific gravity of 0.9246. So what would be the expectation of this? We have 1.0 for water, 0.959 for castor oil. Where do you guys think the olive oil is gonna sit whenever I pour it into this, knowing those values? There you go. It's hard to tell the difference in color here. Do a little bit more. There. So, what happened was, if you can't see, because the color of the castor oil and the olive oil are pretty similar, but I think you can see now, is the castor oil is closer to a 1.0. So it's closer to the water's density, but still lighter. Now the olive oil is even lighter than that, so the olive oil ended up on top. So basically, when you put a dropper in your beard oil that hasn't been moved in a long time or shaken up, what you're doing is you're pulling straight from the bottom of your beard oil, and then that's the carrier oil that you're gonna get. And so what you're gonna get is the densest beard oil first. So something that's closest to 1.0. In this case, you would be grabbing castor oil. Well, you'd really be grabbing water, but if there was no water there, you would be grabbing castor oil, and you wouldn't be getting any olive oil. All right, guys, I know that was a lot of information. Point is, shake your beard oils. Um, it's better so that you can get a nice mixture of all your carrier oils in one dropper or in a couple taps However, you get your beard oil out and with that being said guys I really hope you enjoyed the video if you made it to this point go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already and Embrace your beard and embrace the beard life. See you guys